Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on Sonics. Today we're here with the Red Pepper waterproof case. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's a waterproof case for the iPhone 6. You can get it for other versions of the iPhone and I think you can get it for other phones as well, such as Samsung and stuff like that. I haven't really had a look. I got this phone from New York, so it's about $20, which is nothing at all to protect your phone. This case is waterproof, snowproof, shockproof and dirtproof. My dad originally got me this for skiing because, um, obviously. <laughs> right, so that camera's just died, um, but yeah, he got me this for skiing because it is snowproof. And um, it was $20, but you can get it here in the UK. Um, so this is a little, nice little box that comes in. Um, you just flip that up and there is inside, comes with a little thing. Uh, comes with a little thing so you can attach to the case so you can hold on hand so you don't lose it and then the instruction manual little thing I've gone and that's basically the box so this is the red pepper case and um, they do say that you need to keep the, all the, um, the seals clean otherwise water will then get into it so I'm just going to show you how to get it off so if you just pull that there where there is a little gap and you peel off back and it does just peel off like that. So guys you just peel off by the bottom, that comes completely off. Um, it's nice and tight inside, it's hard to get your phone out at first. Um, I'll show you how to do it easy um, after this. So you just slot your phone in, fits in nicely. Obviously you can't put a case in, you'd be stupid if you did that. Just, just letting you know, I don't know why. So that just fits in nicely, it doesn't drop out. Look <laughs> scared that it does. <laughs> doesn't drop out and yeah. And then all you need to do is you put the key, the front screen on, put one of your corners, and push it up, round sides, and just push it down. So then, what you want to do is make sure you just run your finger, press down quite hard, and just run your finger down. You'll hear a clicking, like most of the way around. There you can see the little gap, just push that there, and that just slots in easily. A nice fitting, and for all the times I've used it, I've never got water in. So, so there's a nice button here for the side button, and this little thing that turns around this puts your vibrate on that or not. And um, obviously your volume, bu volume buttons and your touch ID does actually work with that on. Um, I've got a tempered glass screen protector on it and it does sometimes not work as much. Obviously if you just have an all screen protector or no screen protector it would be easier but obviously it does just work like an all phone. And you can use it while you're underwater. Um, obviously you've got your headphone jack and your charging jack in case you just want to take that off. But you have to make sure that's tightly closed when you put it in the water. So guys now I'm just going to show you it in the water and show you that it works. Right so guys we just swapped the mic. Sorry if the quality has gone bad because the other mic is over there. But this is the phone obviously and it is in the case completely secure um so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead obviously the touch id does work which i showed you earlier and you can operate it completely fine um so yeah we're just gonna go by putting a bit of water onto the screen there you can see completely fine sometimes it is hard to actually get it um the screen to work there we are it's hard to get it to work sometimes obviously it does help it does I have a disadvantage with my screen protector because it is a big screen protector, but yeah, completely working still with the um, phone there. And obviously, they're great for taking videos underwater. Or if you're going on like a trip where. I was saying shit, Gordon. <laughs> Shout out to them. <laughs> or if you're going on a trip where it's going to be wet. So then I'm going to put some more water on it to show that it completely is fine. Um, it is hard while there's water on the screen, it'll get it working. Obviously it does work, it's just a little bit hard. That's the only bit disadvantage about it. And um, completely fine there, still working. I had Snapchat to people while I'm in the shower before, <laughs> so it completely works. So that is basically the water test done. And I'm just going to show you the uh, phone and show you that there's no water into the phone at all. Right, so guys, here is a um, phone. I'm just going to, again, at the bottom right, or the bottom left as you're looking at it, little peel bit and there completely no water inside the phone there's the edge of the seal there's a, where the water is and the phone is completely bone dry and um, it's a bit dirty this phone <laughs> but it's completely bone dry and I'm just going to show you how you get it so now you just want to look at your volume button and you just push there and the phone should just pop out like so it is difficult, look, 
No water at all. Why is it? Oh, my phone has been turned off. That's why I couldn't use a touch ID while it was underwater. Um, put my log password. So there, completely works and completely fine. Right guys, thank you so much for watching our video today. If you did enjoy it, please hit that like button. If you are new around here, hit that subscribe button because it's absolutely free. Check out our other videos um, on the channel. We have done another review of the Ryu Boom 2 and an introduction of our channel. So guys, that's it. Thank you very much and we'll see you guys in the next video.